are at the famous finishing post at the end of the Royal Ascot Strait. Eight Aussie horses have won a combined nine of the mega sprints and four have made the trip across this year. And the Poms, they hate nothing more than the Aussies beating them up in their own backyard. Well, listen, guys, I've won a golden jubilee and I had two Aussies behind me. Let me show you how it's done. They're racing at the golden jubilee. Seb, you've got us to the 1,200 metre start. This is not the 1,200 metre start. You're in England now. It's a six furlongs. <laughs> a typical posh Englishman. Whatever you call it, four Aussies have jumped from this start here and they've won either the Golden Jubilee or the Platinum Jubilee. How important is the barrier draw? It's crucial. When I was on Kingsgate in 18, I was drawn in 18. This is the Golden Highway. That day, the first five home, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. This rail's been very kind to the Aussie. Oh, for sure. Star Spangle Banner, straight down the outside rail. Who can forget Black Caviar? And, of course, the one that started it all. Swazier, straight down the outside. Swazier by a half length to Airwave. And Swazier is holding Airwave. And a remarkable Royal Ascot double. We're at the five furlong. We've gone 200 metres. In the Jubilee, how do you want to be travelling? Well, listen, you'll get your orders off your trainer. You want to land exactly where you want to be. You just take the race from there. Seb, I'm in your part of the world. I'm in the barriers. King stands starting point at the five furlong. Watch the starter. When he drops his flag, you know those gates are going to open and you want to be away on the beer of the bank. And it's a rise all the way to the finish. You need a proper five furlong horse in this. So we've just come up a slight hill. Now we're in a little bit of a dip, but here we are at the three furlong. Yeah, crucial part of the race. You're on good horses, but you need some momentum when you're running up to that hill. And on good horses, they can jump out of your hands and go too quick too soon. You need to really wind up through the gears and get the horse going at maximum speed at the two furlong marker. There's a 20 metre rise down the length of the straight. Do you feel it? Do you notice it? You normally have to move 100 yards before you normally would just to get that momentum up the hill. Seb, we're two furlongs from home. It's make or break time. You concentrate on what's happening in front of you. You want a, a clear passage to the line. And when you, you get to that furlong marker, this ground drops away from you. And if you're full of running, very difficult to pass. A little bit like Nature Strip last year, and I've got to say, when Jay Mack let him go, by goodness, he gave your lot one hell of a beating. Nature's type and James McDonald, and look how far they've won by. We're at the 200 metre mark, Seb. You can hear the crowd, you can see the finishing line. You're almost there. You gave a big kick on Kingsgate Native. Yeah, I got a great response out of him here. I knew going to the line he was, in, he was gonna win. Crowd, I can't hear him. He's, I'm totally focused on the winning line. King Gate Native in front for a shot. And this finishing line is all about one moment for Australians. Black Caviar, 77,000 people in the stands, millions watching around the world. And it's Black Caviar in front with 100 yards left to go. Here's Restia Dajan on Moonlight Cloud. He eases up near the line. Here's Moonlight Cloud, it's tight. History shows she just held off Moonlight Cloud and you hit this finishing line on Kingsgate Native and won. What was it like? Ah, it's the greatest feeling ever. I'll never forget it. And Kingsgate Native lands the Golden Jubilee. 